Hey, what's going on? Near Fear here, and today I'll be doing a track overview of LS Outback, a track that I made for the Team Dictator 2015 Muscle Car Championship, and it holds about 12 to 14 players due to connection issues on the PS3. We want to keep as many racers in as we can, and it features a pit lane and some a chicane and some wide hairpins. So this is the earlier build of the track. There have been some recent revisions. I'll try and talk through some of them in this video. I might not get to all of them, but another video will explain that one away next week. Here we go on to turn two where it splits off into the pit lane. The pit lane has been revised. There is like an entrance on the left hand side. As we go around and come back out, now in the revised version you just stay to the left up until past turn two behind these trains however we don't have that in this video going up the hill we're gonna take turn three four five and I believe six relatively flat out these corners aren't too difficult however you do have to mind the borders as there are things that you can hit and damage your suspension quite badly or you could just spin your car out being a bit too reckless so Keep that in mind as we go through this high speed section into our first hairpin, which is quite wide. I think you can fit most likely two cars, possibly three if your driver's a beast, but two cars just to make for an overtaking opportunity somewhere in the middle of this course. Now this windy section is only going to be about one car as you have to fight the anti-camber going uphill that can spit you out into multiple barriers and I'll show you one of them right here you can hit this rock if you even miss that barrier and you can also hit this barrier and this exit guardrail you might not be able to see it very well from here but it's a very difficult section for uh, new players as we come through this chicane which has also been revised these two barriers have been reduced to one and one on each side it's been shortened up as a chicane the cabin's been moved farther forward and there's been put a small barrier right here to make sure that people actually go around the chicane rather than cutting it. And so far you can fit about two cars in it either way. With this version you could fit possibly three because it was so wide so I just shortened it up a bit only to fit two cars through. Here we've got a bumpy section right in the braking zone it's pretty wide it extends from here all the way to the crest of the hill and the thing to note about this is if you're in a, the fully spec race cars very difficult to get this braking zone right if you get it wrong you can end up all the way in this mountain over here it's pretty drastic we did a test race with uh, uh, the league founder Jay Stalin and yeah that was crazy um, so you gotta be careful around here, you then come around this corner and you gotta dodge this little uh, exit barrier as we come back around this corner. Now you don't want to take too much of the inside right here or else it'll put your car into two wheels, possibly flip it over. So you want to kind of just brush this apex two wheel if you can get away with it. And then you carry all that speed down into the next section which you basically have to thread the needle through these two barriers right about here. I'll zoom in to let you guys see. These two barriers, you gotta thread the needle through these and then make it for the braking zone into this very bumpy hairpin. Bumps start about here for the brake zone. So, very bumpy brake zone. Not too difficult, however, if you do run wide, you're gonna wanna get direction change before this barrier right here or else you're getting some major suspension damage. The dirt does reduce your braking ability, so just keep that in mind when you're racing on the track. Go into a 90 degree corner. You can fit about three cars in it now. There's a revision edited that white car so you can fit more cars through. And you go down the downhill section, which is very, very high speed. And it goes into a left-right chicane that is also very high speed. If you get it right, you'll be flying through here into the next mid-speed corner. If you get it wrong, you're going to end up in a barrier. That's just how this works. If you get it slightly wrong, you're just going to lose speed on the exit. And that's really about it. Nothing much to the chicane. Just don't crash is how it goes. The name of the game. That chicane. 
So we're going to move on to the next set of corners, which is also difficult because you're taking all that speed and then you have to brake and make sure that you make this bend with barriers on the inside and guardrails on the outside. And can be quite tricky. I have kind of spun it here a couple times in testing. But then we go through the last set of corners leading up to the final 180 degree to corner has dirt on the inside so you could spin it half spin it here and it also kind of tightens up at the end so you want to be mindful of the power delivery or how much power you put on your gas when you go through this final corner on to the start finish straight and that just sums up the lap around LS Outback inspired by the VIR raceway and I think Virginia Virginia International Raceway here I'm just zooming out to show you the full track length I believe it's about 1.82 miles and as you see it is quite big now I've been thinking about adding a section to it if you guys would like to see revisions or more sections please leave that in the comments below as well as a rating whether or not you liked or disliked this video and um, yeah soon we will be I'm thinking maybe I could put an extension right here instead of having that chicane with the tunnel, but who knows. Now we're going to be cutting up to our lap of the track with the pit lane and the dominator quite soon. Now, there won't really be any game audio since my capture card glitched out. It kind of derped and said nope, so I'm very sorry about that. But here I'm going to show you how the new pit lane is going to work. You're going to stay to the left and you're going to come straight around. And instead of exiting to the right of this train as you usually would, you're going to stay to the left of the train and you're going to take that all the way and hold that speed on the left. There's going to be a barrier to kind of direct you to the left of the track and people racing are going to stay on the right of the track. And that's going to be just about it for the pit lane. We're going to skip over to the race lap just to show you how difficult this track can be in these cars. We um, half spin it coming through the final corner as we make our way down into turn two. The 90 degree right hander that now has a slight barrier to it so you can't completely cut that now. We're gonna make it into turn three. Not that difficult, kind of flat out through there. Uh, not flat out through that section because I half spun the car but we're flat out through the rest of it as we make our way on to our first hairpin at the top of the hill which is about two two and a half cars wide we run a bit wide there as we apex too early and we go up the hill to the windy bit now this windy bit will throw you into that guardrail if you take it wrong so got to be very cautious on the throttle there as we take the chicane the correct way without the cut in it and we go down the tunnel really quickly onto the top of this hill, which is very bumpy onto the braking zone. Break at the top, and we hold our speed on the inside, switch over to get some direction change, just brush the apex, carry that speed to the outside, and here's what happens. I carry too much and almost hit that barrier. Luckily, I can escape from it, only getting a quarter panel damaged, but yeah kind of tricky break zone right there just threw a curveball at you and then it throws another curveball at you with this downhill section you gotta get through this very high speed chicane and not just brushing the exit right there and you gotta make this corner just getting really close to that outside guardrail and now we make our way on to the final corner of the race and where I half spin it due to putting in too much throttle and damage that rear quarter panel again. So that's the racetrack so far. The revision will be uploaded sometime next week, but if you want to see me add some sections or add some even more extensive revisions, uh, leave the comments below, hit me up on Twitter, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I think that's about it, so I'm just going to wrap this video up, and I will see you guys later. This is Near Fear, and I'm peacing out.